everyone welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you my digital planning setup and how i plan my school year on my ipad so whether you're in high school university or college this setup can help you stay organized and productive all year long so i'm going to talk about the tools and apps i recommend organization tips on your ipad and a complete walkthrough of my academic plan so i'm going to start off with the device and the ipad accessories that i use I'm using an iPad Air 4 in 10.9 inches. I got it in the color Space Gray with 64 gigabytes. I also got the second generation Apple Pencil, which charges conveniently on the side of my iPad, which I love. For digital planning, I personally use the GoodNotes app, which I find perfect for organizing my notes and planning my school year. However, Notability is also another great option if you want to explore the different features and see which one aligns better with your needs. If you're someone who prefers typing, then I would highly recommend giving Notion a try. It's a really great app that works well for more structured and text-heavy notes, but that being said, you can still type with the apps GoodNotes and Notability too, so you're not really limited to handwriting if that's not your style. And finally, you'll need an academic planner to help keep everything organized. I'm going to be using the one that I created myself, and if you're interested, it's also available in my Etsy shop. It's a fully dated academic planner from August 2024 to July 2025. One tip I have for organizing your iPad for back to school is to dedicate an entire page of your home screen only for school-focused apps. So this setup is a great way to keep everything you need for your studies in one place, making it really easy to just access all your essential apps for school. Let's talk about one of my favorite tools for staying organized, which is Apple Calendar. You can create multiple calendars for different aspects of your life, like classes, assignments, meetings, and personal events, and also color code them for easy reference. You can set reminders and alerts to keep track of deadlines and appointments, and you can also sync across all your Apple devices so you always have your schedule on hand. One last app that I'm going to mention is Zen Flip Clock. So this app is great for managing your study time and keeping you focused. It includes a stopwatch feature and a Pomodoro timer, which is perfect for structuring your study sessions, your breaks, and your tasks. Now I'm going to do a walkthrough of my academic planner. So it's basically a PDF file with hyperlinks that you import into GoodNotes and use as your digital planner. So this planner comes with six cover pages that you can choose from, and then you'll swipe to the index. So the index is hyperlinked buttons to all sections in the planner. This comes with monthly, weekly, and daily sections, as well as an academic and wellness section. There's also buttons on the side that go to your year at glance, assignment tracker, academic section, wellness section, and then all your monthly covers for easy access. So to switch from handwriting to using your hyperlinks buttons, you're going to click on that little pencil swirl button at the top. Then when your toolbar shows up, that means you can handwrite, type, and customize all your pages. You can click that button again and the toolbar will disappear, which means you can use all your hyperlinked buttons again. I'm going to start with the academic page, which comes with a semester 1 and 2 schedule overview and 6 classes per section. This also comes with an assignment tracker, a project planner, and an exam prep template. So we're going to click on semester 1 overview, which is where you're going to draw and write down your semester schedule into the timetable. This also comes with little sections where you can write the information about the course. I personally love to color code it so it's easier to read. So you're going to import the course name, the date and time, the instructor's name, and the room number. Each course at the bottom is hyperlinked to their own course overviews. So if you click on course one, it will bring you straight to the course overview. So this is where you're going to write all the important information about the course. You have a sections for notes and reminders, and then you can write down the titles of your weekly lectures so it's easier for you to look back when you're referring to your notes. There's also a section for assignments and projects with the due dates, with tests and exams. As you swipe, there are pages you can write your course notes. If you want to add pages, you click on the little plus icon, then click on current template which will duplicate it. Now we'll look at the assignment tracker, which is where you would organize and track all of your assignments and due dates. 
and a checklist of if you completed or not completed the assignment yet. So this is where you're going to plan all of your projects. So you're going to organize this by the tasks, project steps, and topics you need to cover. So the exam prep is the last part of the academic section. I organize this by topics you need to cover, topics that are unclear, topics you're still working on, and topics that you understand. I felt that this was a good way to organize it so you can see your progress from unclear to understanding the majority of the content. Now we're going to go into the monthly sections. So every month has a cover page which comes with hyperlinks to the vision board, monthly calendar, and your weekly sections. So the first page when you swipe is going to be your vision board. I get all of my photos from Pinterest, I download them and then organize them onto my page. Next is going to be your monthly calendar. So this is where I get a big picture view of the entire month. I like to use this section to mark down important dates like assignment deadlines, exams, and major events or appointments. It's also where I set three main goals of the entire month. So things like finishing a major project or balancing school with self-care. Every monthly calendar also comes with hyperlinks to each week. So we're going to click on week 30, which brings you straight to your weekly overview. This is where I break down my month into more manageable tasks, so things like classes, study sessions, and habit tracking for the week. It's also a great place to prioritize what needs to be done for each day to stay on track of my goals. I usually like to review this section every Monday and then make adjustments as the week goes by. Each date is hyperlinked to its own daily spread, so if we click on Wednesday for example, this will bring you straight to its daily schedule. The daily section is where I like to get into more of the specific details, so I plan out each day with a schedule, a to-do list, noting down specific tasks, reminders, and even keeping in mind healthy habits. Having this daily breakdown allows me to stay organized, productive, and focused, ensuring I have a clear plan for the day, even if only half of it gets done. Let's talk about the wellness section of the planner, which is all about maintaining a balanced lifestyle while managing your school responsibilities. So firstly is the vision board. This is where I like to visualize my overall goals and intentions for the school year. It's a creative space where I add images, quotes, and anything that inspires me. I usually get everything from Pinterest. It helps me keep my long-term vision in mind and stay motivated as I work towards my personal and academic goals. Next, I move on to setting specific goals and intentions. So this section is where I outline what I want to achieve, both academically and personally. I focus on setting intentions that align with my vision board. It's mostly all about being clear on what I want and creating a roadmap to get there. The action plan section is where I break down those goals into more actionable steps. So I like to think of this as my strategy for achieving everything I've set out to do. By having a clear plan, I can stay focused and make steady progress towards my goals. Then there's a self-care dashboard, which is essential for keeping track of my self-care routines. Whether it's practicing mindfulness, taking breaks, or doing something that brings me joy, I find that this section really ensures that I'm taking care of myself in the midst of the school year. It's a great way to prevent burnout and maintain healthy balance. Next, we have the meal plan section, which helps me organize my meals for the week. It's so useful for planning ahead and making grocery shopping easier. I would also recommend to download GoodNotes on your phone and sync it through iCloud so when you're grocery shopping, you'll have the grocery list on your phone as well. And finally, the monthly habit tracker. So this is where I keep track of all the habits for the month, things like meditation, yoga, sleep, and trying new things. Each habit has little boxes that correspond to the specific number of days in the month, making it easy to mark off each day as you complete the habit. As well, the months at the top are hyperlinked, so you can easily jump to the current month and start tracking right away. So that's my digital planning iPad setup for a productive and aesthetic school year. I hope this gave you some inspiration to customize your iPad into a tool that truly works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear them. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing school year.